Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be doing a little spring slash summer closet clean out. Yeah, I haven't actually cleaned out my closet since lockdown back in March 2020. I actually made a YouTube video of it. The video is now on private. Today, we are on a mission to clean out my closet. So let's go. And fun fact, my closet right now is already clean. Like I already filmed this entire video and I'm just now doing the intro and the voiceover. So yeah, rate my acting skills. Okay, today is, can it focus? March 29th. This is my closet. This is literally the closet that I've had since I was like 10 years old. Okay, hey guys, so I'm actually doing a voiceover for these clips because I was literally talking like such an idiot and it was pissing me off so much to watch. My closet is busting at the seams and there's literally shit everywhere. You can't even see the floor. The wooden rod that's holding up all my clothes is literally bent like a freaking parabola. And then on the other side of the closet that isn't visible, that's hidden behind the other door is just literally straight junk. Like I don't know what's in there. Basically on the top shelf, I have like random shoe boxes in the corner and and then a bin with just junk. I have bathing suits in this purple bin and then in this gray bin I have bags that I don't use and then a random podcast mic that my brother let me borrow and then a foot massager that has literally been in this closet as long as I've been alive. And there's pretty much no organization to my closet at all. Like my clothes are just everywhere and thrown in here. So definitely gonna try to fix that and then underneath all of the hung up clothes I have these two bins where I keep my college going out tops and also my workout tops and sports bras then everything in this three drawer thingamabob is clothes I'm planning on selling so I definitely need to find a better way to store all of these clothes and then next to this drawer set I have these two little drawers that I have underwear and socks in I'm pretty sure I have underwear from third grade in these drawers Welcome to day one of cleaning my closet. I wanted to start off small because going through my entire closet was low key a little too much for me. So I started off with the small bins in my closet. The first one had my college going out, out tops and I was sorting through these. And for the most part, I was planning on getting rid of literally almost all of them just because I can't really see myself wearing like half of these things. And especially since I don't go to cams and frat houses every weekend anymore, I don't really need all of these going out tops. Basically, as I was going through these tops and just my clothes in general, my thought process on whether I was keeping something or not was based on three criteria. So the first thing was, did I feel uncomfortable when wearing the top? For example, did I have to constantly readjust it and I was, was I constantly afraid of my nipple popping out? If yes, then I was going to get rid of it just because I don't feel like wearing clothes that make me uncomfortable at this point. And then number two was, did I genuinely like the top? Like, did I see myself wearing it again? And I think a lot of the times when I go through my stuff and my clothes in particular, I hold on to things because it has sentimental value. Like, oh, I wore this when I graduated from college or I wore this when this happened. Sometimes I'll keep things just because they have memories that I cherish that go along with them. But that's how hoarding begins. So I'm trying not to do that. So pretty much did I like the top for what it is and not for the memories, if that makes any sense. And then number three kind of goes along with number two is could I see myself wearing the top with three outfits. So pretty much if I answered no to number one, yes to number two, and yes to number three, then I would keep the top. From there, if I decided no on certain pieces, there's two other options of whether I'm selling or donating. And pretty much I would just use my best judgment on whether the top or, you know, any of the clothes that I am getting rid of will be worthwhile to sell on secondhand apps like Curtsy. And, you know, if it's if the piece is trendy enough to be sold. And obviously if things are damaged, or pilling or you know has pit stains then I won't sell it obviously because like that's whack so then after I went through all of that I took photos of the tops I decided to sell since I kind of had all of it laid out and if you guys are curious I use curtsy to sell my clothes because I feel like it's really easy especially since they offer this thing called clear out lots which is where you just put a bunch of items into one lot and then people can bid on your lot it doesn't really bother me if I don't like make too much money from the pieces I sell just because I'm trying to find a new owner for these pieces. After I went through my 
my college growing out tops. I went through my workout clothes and pretty much all of that was a keep. I just wanted to organize it better and donate the things that didn't really fit me well anymore. When it comes to workout clothes, there's really no point in donating or getting rid of it unless they don't fit you. Just because it's nice to not, you know, have to wash your clothes all the time if you don't have enough sports bras to last you a while. Some of the sports bras I have literally I've had for like six years just because, you know, you can never have too many, I feel like. Anyways, the last thing I did on day one was I decided to take out all of the clothes I had in the three drawer set and put them into the pink bins. So basically I put all of the clothes I wanted to sell in these two pink bins and then I put all of my workout clothes into the drawers instead so that I could actually take advantage of the fact that I had this little drawer set. Yeah, slay. See you guys on day two. Okay, welcome to day two, girly pops. I didn't really feel like doing much this day, so I just went through the other drawers in my closet and decided to go through the clothes in there. And pretty much all of it was just random shirts I got from college. Like, I literally found a Kool-Aid shirt. Like, I do not know where that came from. But now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably Eric's. And there were also pajamas and some clothes that I wanted to sell. As I was, you know, going through these drawers, one thing I will say is that now I'm gonna make an effort to try on all clothes that I buy just because some of the stuff in here and like things that I'm selling are literally brand new with tags on them. It's literally just because they didn't fit me right. And if I would have just tried them on in the store, like a normal person, I would have known that they weren't gonna fit and saved my money. And for the most part, I feel like I know my sizing decently well, but you know, with brands like Zara, it's a gamble every time. No shade Zara, but literally shade. this day, I was tackling probably the hardest part, which is literally the dungeon of my closet. Basically, my main task for this day was going through this tub of clothes that literally had my entire high school wardrobe in it. And it was definitely nostalgic seeing some of my old pieces, but F high school. So yeah, it's funny because so much of the stuff in this bin was from Brandy and Urban Outfitters. And it makes me think back to when I would work so hard at my high school job and literally spend, I want to say my whole paycheck on like two things from Brandy. Damn bro, the those were some interesting times. Why was I wasting so much of my money on these brand name clothes just to fit in with like all the other girls? Anyways, I will say that there were a couple of things in this bin that I ended up keeping, like this really cute black dress that I wore to my junior year homecoming. This is literally the one year I decided not to wear the tightest and shortest dress you could ever find. And I also found a few sweaters to keep as well. So that was an uber slay. It felt like I was thrifting, but you know, just through my own closet. Basically, a lot of these clothes clothes I'll be handing down to some of my cousins who are a lot younger than me and then my mom's friend who has a daughter who's younger and then the rest is probably just gonna go to Goodwill. Finally, on day four was when I went through the clothes that were hanging up. And for the most part, all of these clothes were a keep. But basically, my main priority was just putting away some of the sweaters into the bin. Since, you know, we're getting ready for spring and summer, I wanted to make room for potentially some new pieces. Anyway, there were a couple of dresses that I'm planning on donating slash selling, which now that I think about it, it really feels like I wear a dress for one occasion and then never wear it again. So I honestly think I need to get out of the mind said that I need to buy a new dress for every new event or occasion that I attend. You know, not that I'm even attending any formal events at this point in my life. If any of you are getting married, please invite me so I can wear a fun little dress. Okay guys, now for the moment you all have been waiting for. Coachella, let me hear you fucking scream. Okay, so starting off with the left side of my closet, that's kind of where I keep all the stuff that I don't really reach for, like some winter jackets and like some thicker sweaters and whatnot. And then in the front, I'm keeping, you know, my tank tops and t-shirts and, you know, fun little girly moments. Basically at the top, I did not do anything. I just organized a little bit of the things that were in the bins, but pretty much all of the placement is still the same because I'm a lazy biatch. So here's like a little overview. And then moving on into the left side of my closet, like I said earlier, that's where I'm keeping kind of my sweaters and like things that I don't reach for as often. In the corner, like I mentioned earlier, it used to be like a fucking dungeon and you couldn't see the floors or anything, but now it's all nice and organized. 
and then moving on along to the drawers and whatnot. It's pretty organized, I would say. At the top, I have workout tops and tank tops and sports bras. And then in the second drawer, I have running stuff. And then in the third drawer, I just have more things that I'm selling. And then on the right, I have organized my sock and underwear drawer. And then in this little crate here, I just have a couple of my hats, like bucket hats and baseball caps and whatnot. And that's pretty much my very anticlimactic closet tour.